Hello everyone, I'm very happy to welcome you to Continental's first speaker session at this year's Hannover Messe Digital Edition. Continental is known as a German rubber company. There's nothing wrong with that since the company is a leading global supplier of high-tech rubber. But this association falls too short and today we will hear why. Let's welcome our two experts from Continental, Rosa Mexepa and Christoph Sega. They will talk today about the current industry challenges and how Continental is successfully shaping the transformation. But first, let me introduce them to you. Rosa Mexepa joined Continental in 2018 as head of group strategy. Rosa is responsible for the development and refinement of Continental's group strategy. Christoph Seger, he joined Continental very early in 2005. Today, he is Head of Innovation, Business Development and Digital Solutions at Contitech. And in this role, he's driving forward the important issues in this time of transformation. And before we start, an important note, we all were tested negative for COVID in the morning, so we all are safe. Okay, so let's get it started with a strategy and innovation, a really exciting session to open with. Welcome both of you and thanks for being here today. So this year is a very special year for Continental. You are celebrating 150 years. Yay, congratulations. <laughs> um, being on the market for 150 years makes Continental a child of industrialization. Now we have digitalization and we see a lot of changes and great potential in the market. Rosa, what does this mean for Continental as a global player? Absolutely, the um, global mega trends, but also the market outlooks do inform our group strategy. And if I look at the market outlook just recently, they were way in all our key end markets, way uh, below our expectations. We certainly have to calculate the COVID-19 pandemic impact into that. But beside the economic outlook uh, and the market, there are definitely so many mega trends that we're taking into account and you named already a few of them. It's all about digitalization. Um, it's about um, shift in technology. It's about increasing pace of change in general, but also increasing number of um, competitors and the competitive intensity. And that all uh, fosters us, forces us to change and adapt in a more frequent and faster way as well. What does it mean for our strategy? I mean, we as a group, we are continuously reflecting, adapting and adjusting our organization and the business and the industries we are in. So, uh, Chris, can you name some of the uh, driving forces that are influencing um, the transformation of Continental in the moment? Yeah, so uh, thanks, Alyosha. I, I think um, it's, it's, it's much more than digitalization. And uh, this is also um, why we changed our, our vision from smart solutions beyond rubber to smart and sustainable solutions beyond rubber. And you see it here in our background uh, to, uh, today. This is key and the red line for us. So it's, uh, it's digitalization, but also sustainability, the driving factors uh, we, uh, we have. And uh, you might have uh, read the, the ambitious uh, targets for, for for Continental to turn into a complete uh, CO2-free uh, company by latest 2050. And uh, not just that, but, uh, but also to regard all the different processes, all the, um, uh, yeah, also products we are, we, are, we, are, we are developing from a sustainability aspect. This is key to us in order to, uh, to help uh, uh, the, the environment, to help the global ambitions and sustainability as well. So it's not just about digitalization, it's a lot about sustainability. Therefore, also the sh shift in our vision. Okay, so as you just said, the two big topics of industry today and tomorrow are um, digitalization and sustainability. Um, Continental is meeting these um, challenges with the slogan smart and sustainable solutions beyond rubber. So what does this mean um, for, on the one hand, Continental and on the other hand, for your customers? Mm. Our customers are, are much more asking for sustainable solutions. They are asking for also more services, uh, meaning this is also driving uh, digitalization because 
um, to, uh, to accelerate um, the, the service creation, new business models. We need digital means for that. So it's not just an inside-out perspective we have here. Uh, the customer stands in the middle of, of everything we do. And, uh, and therefore, I'm very, very happy that we have a lot of customers and good distributors we can co-create new solutions with and uh, solutions which are exactly going in that direction. The market needs new solutions and needs uh, as well the, uh, the technology and uh, the chemical know-how we have because also in the future you will need a hose, you will need a conveyor belt, you will need products we, we serve the markets with. And that's a great example I think for the group that we consider those um, mega trends not only as challenges and we have to fear of and adjust, but we grab it as an opportunity and change those changes into opportunities for the customers to clearly add value for them and their future. Okay, but what does this mean specifically? How is Continental positioning itself to be uh, the winner in the future? Mm -hmm. I mean, um, beyond embracing the mega trends and taking opportunities, a key motivation of Continental as a group is um, our passion to win. And passion to win is one of our core values ever since for 150 years. And uh, that really um, teaches us what are the, the next big steps, what to do, because we not only want to survive the transformation, it's about shaping the transformation and emerge as one of the winners so, of the transformation. So what do you think? Um, which areas are especially important uh, for the future of Continental? Well, um, our strategy is to differentiate further our portfolio and there is nothing better or more important than the others. So we differentiated it further into growth and value fields because a high share of our portfolio is in those growth fields. It's driven by technology, by innovation, and that's where our future is all about. And another remarkable share of our business is in the value fields and they are focusing on cash and um, profitability because that's what you need to fund those innovations and bring forward all the op opportunities and ideas for the customers. Yeah, and I can I can just confirm on the on the, on the Contitech side. So uh, so we uh, we have as uh, as you pointed out 150 years of uh, of uh, experience. Yeah. So uh, we build a very a very very strong business um, and, uh, and are serving our customers since 150 years, also with Contitech products since uh, since the beginning. And, uh, and 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 now it's it's a great possibility that we can leverage this awesome basis we have generated over the last 150 years to engage more in growth fields. Yeah. So uh, so uh, exactly as Rosa pointed out. The value fields, as, uh, as, as, as we name them, they are the basis for everything we do in the, in the, in the future for our growth perspective. And, uh, and this is very important to, to mention. And uh, it's not that, that, uh, that we alone created uh, the, the baseline. It's with all the customers, everybody who has been uh, with us over the, over the past 150 years. And now we have the possibility to take the spaces and to, and to, and to continue to transform in the more digital and more sustainable um, uh, age, again, also with our customers. And, uh, and this is uh, something uh, we are very much looking, looking forward to do. And, um, and there we have specific areas uh, to, to name two, three, especially from the industrial perspective. We are looking at food chain processing. We are looking at, uh, at recycling uh, possibilities and uh, also water and waste uh, treatment in, in, in general. So, so core areas where we see overproportional growth in the future, where customers are demanding more solutions from us. And I'm 100% sure that we are a great company to, uh, uh, to, uh, to, to develop these solutions, to bring them to market. And, uh, and to co-create with our, our partners out there. So I'm truly looking forward to continue that journey, which we have started uh, quite some years back. Absolutely. So we are talking about um, smart and sustainable solutions beyond rubber, and that includes talking about digital solutions, new materials, and new business models. Um, Chris, what do you think will be a crucial factor for all these fields? Mm. Yeah, you're touching a very important aspect, and this is the, the, the technology focus. Yeah? And, uh, and uh, I think we, uh, over the last 150 years, we have built up great chemical expertise, as you, uh, as you 
um, I can't imagine, but, uh, but now what expertise do we need in addition? One is new materials. New materials are emerging. We have the feeling uh, emerging far faster than in the past. So Jens Hugermeyer uh, will talk about this uh, um, uh, later, later on in a, in a webinar here in a couple of days. That's on the material side. But uh, then we have the linking pin on the technology side. And uh, just, um, I would say, 10 years ago, it was for, for Condi Tech very difficult to imagine to talk about software. Yeah, to talk about software, to talk about sensors, to talk about connectivity overall. And that's where we changed. Yeah? So now this is part, uh, is, is part of our DNA. It's growing. We have software developers by sitting next to the chemists uh, to combine both worlds. And, and I think that's where we have a unique possibility as Conti Tech, but as a company as a whole, say the chemical know-how, the experience over 150 years, we're combining with digital know-how, which we have greatly in-house as well with our automotive uh, business area. So a great baseline uh, to, uh, to create the future. So Rosa, what does that mean for your customers? How are they related to continental strategy? Overall, in all business eras, we put customers first, definitely. And there are some really great examples that what we are striving all over the company. Our strategy starts with the company, with the markets, what are their demands, what their needs, what brings them forward. Also, beside co-creation with dedicated customers, we bring in our thought leadership in advanced engineering, where we just test and try new ideas, approaches. We um, further discuss it with the customers in order to create value for their solutions and their challenges, actually. Chris, you said before that innovation is one key to success. Uh, are there any other areas or solutions that you are interested at the moment? Hmm. So innovation, basically, if we want, is, 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 is the umbrella, right? So of course, if we want to grow, uh, we need uh, we need new, new new solutions, new innovations overall. So this being split up then in material and uh, in, in digital, and, uh, and 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 then combining the dots, making sure that we have both aspects in. Uh, this will this will create um, the the solutions for the future. And to to answer your question precisely. It's, it's not just about the product itself, it's also about the service and the value we can give to our customers. And this is much more than the product itself. Today we are selling mostly products, but, uh, but in the future we will continue to develop our, our, our possibilities to create solutions. Again, together with our partners, together with, uh, with our, our customers and also distributors. Um, uh, I think that's a great basis we, we have, uh, which we built up uh, over the last decades. So let's have a look to the future. Are there any uh, research projects you would love to work on? Yeah, that's a that's a good good, good question, Anush. And um, I mean, I love any way to uh, to to work for Conti Tech. Why? It is um, such a diverse business. Yeah. So we we are active in so many different industries. And on the one side, you you might say, okay, this is very very complex to uh, to, uh, to 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 keep um, to keep your arms around basically. But on the other side, um, the industries we can connect far more the dots now and say, okay, perhaps something is working really well. In, uh, in the construction industry, and we might leverage a very similar service in, in, uh, in food chain processing as an, uh, as an example. And this is what, uh, what, where we are connecting the dots, yeah? where we are creating one backbone on the digital side and also on the material side to say what can we leverage between the, the different industries and, uh, and, uh, and, um, and between the, the stakeholders there. If you ask me, okay, what would you like to explore? Um, at the end, it is to engage more into, into co-creation possibilities. We're just starting, and Hanover Fair is a great example for, for that. Because like, I had the feeling 15 years ago, you mentioned it, I, I started, um, so, uh, so the ecosystems were very, very close. Yeah? So basically there were no ecosystems. Every company was trying to work on, uh, on its own. And, um, and since, I would say, two, three, four years, this whole ecosystem is opening, right? And uh, partnerships are, are, are emerging. Uh, we are, I would say, doing far more with startups. And this is something uh, we, we certainly will expand doing, knowing that uh, we will not win this transformation and emerge as a, as a winner alone. 
will emerge in a team uh, perspective and a co-creation perspective. Okay, Rosa, still looking to the future. Where do you see Continental in the next 20 years? 20 years, that's a big question. That's about uh, 20 or 40. Well, we definitely are about to achieve our sustainability ambitions. We are planning those ambitions to reach latest until 2050. And that's already, I guess, a major step and a um, really, really um, good uh, milestone in the industries compared to others. Beside that, as we've heard, uh, the ecosystems are further evolving. We are further co-creating with customers. It's pretty clear that we are not um, sticking to a traditional business model and traditional offering. We will have involved a broad portfolio on services, on solutions, and on systems across the company, across all business eras. And as you know, we are very strong in automotive. We will further position in the growth field discussed there and in the value, value fields that are very important for us. We also keep on increasing and fostering and gaining market share and position in various industries, like the construction industry or the food chain industries. And that's very important for us. Basically, you touched now now all the three aspects. Uh, also, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to 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 basically wrap up the the whole discussion we had today, it was about uh, smart. It was about sustainability, and it now, uh, as you also point out very very correctly, it's about solutions. And uh, we see um, that that the business models itself that they are changing. Yeah, so that there is also a bigger need uh, for. For, for, for something beyond the products we're delivering. And, uh, and that's where we are also not just hearing that from our customers, but gearing, gearing up to, uh, to provide um, additional business models uh, to, our, to our products. And uh, just later, later on, uh, we'll hear something about drone inspect. Great example, um, and it's just starting. Yeah? So um, uh, we are, Yes, uh, a traditional company, we are acting in a very traditional environment, but I feel that now the speed of, uh, of, of innovation in the industry itself is also increasing. It is also increasing, and, uh, and again, I think we are, uh, we are well established, we are well established uh, also globally, very close to our customers, to provide and develop these, uh, these solutions. And, uh, and therefore, it's not just what you see in the background, it's not just the vision we, uh, we show here uh, today uh, to, uh, to, to the world, it's, uh, it's a vision we live every day. Uh, and this is, uh, I think, uh, uh, a very important uh, message I would like to convey to everybody who is, who is listening and watching here today. Uh, that um, uh, that we are going down this pathway, and uh, that we are very happy to uh, to uh, to receive feedback number one, but also receive an input from great partners to co-create the future uh, together. Perfect. So that's it. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, I really like the conversation. It was so interesting. I'm here. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. So um, to hearing uh, all about these plans. Um, of the for the future of uh, Continental. So I wish you, I wish Continental great success for the future. Thank you. I'm sure Thank you. You will rock it. Absolutely. Yes. Very sure to it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you. ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed Continental's speaker session on smart and sustainable solutions beyond rubber. The Continental team would be very happy to talk with you more about this topic. Uh, just use Continental's uh, general contact address in the HMI 2021 Continental dashboard. I'm looking forward to seeing you again at 2.30 p.m. for Continental's next session on, Chris uh, already mentioned it, a sensor-based drone inspection service with Clemens Panzer. So see you later. Bye-bye and take care.